Okay, um, I'm here to talk about the topic that we mentioned. I, I guess the first slide is fine. I would just um, introduce myself before I start uh, greenwashing. I'm a former macroeconomist, that now I call myself blue macroeconomist. Since in meantime, I experienced epiphany, that's how I call, and I completely switched my career and, 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 and profession. I used to work for International Monetary Fund. I was a chief economist. I was advisor to the biggest CEO bank uh, and team leader of some uh, projects. And then in the meantime, I realized how ridiculous it is that everybody's expecting to grow, grow, grow with the limited sources. So I decided really to focus uh, what is uh, my... my uh, uh, another passion that I have, so I completely moved out of that of that world, and as I said, uh, I actually I can put this here. Am I right? Not to hold this. Why nobody told me this? Uh, so that's why I experienced uh, epiphany thinking that now I can give contribution to something that is uh, greater than me. Because in the meantime, uh, while growing, I experienced issues with the health. And also I helped my um, friend who had issue with her baby. Uh, at the end, the baby was uh, diagnosed as distorted behavior. But at the end, it was only too much sugar consumed that she didn't even know that the baby was consuming a, a lot of sugar. So in the meantime, uh, I discovered, uh, not discovered, I wanted to do a doctorate and it is about greenwashing in food industry, because food industry, I'm curious foodie, so I really wanted to connect myself, my passion, my interest and everything. So I'm in the process of doing that doctorate, and I believe we all more or less are aware what greenwashing means, yeah? So greenwashing is really everywhere, and uh, whether we, we are aware or not, it's part of, of, the, of the society, I believe. So I always like to say how really to um, green, how to be green without washing. So I guess we can all uh, have a contribution to that. So instead of really going in, in, a, in a definition, um, I thought personally that greenwashing is a new phenomenon, but actually it's not. It's been on the scene for more than uh, 40 years. And actually the peak that experience was in 2009, when uh, a lot of um, uh, academics and uh, uh, the whole society thought that greenwashing is going to disappear from the scene since uh, because of the um, upward trend of the social media and of, of uh, high-tech uh, implications. But actually, that, that didn't happen. I think it, it's being used even more and more. So the theme of my thesis, of my uh, presentation, is really greenwashing, but focused on three elements. The first one, yeah, you can go with the second. The first one is really labeling, which is really, really important. As you may know, it's really something that is widely used, and I'm happy now to meet a, a distributor of one product, and I've checked immediately the label on the product, and it's real one. But before I actually go to that, I'm really happy when doing research for my doctorate, I came across to Open Food Facts, and I was like, wow. This was like a great discovery for me, because before any um, kind of research that people have been doing, uh, regarding the greenwashing, people would go, they would, with, a lot, with the team members, they would go and visit so many supermarkets and do research. So I'm now privileged to be able to do so and to travel uh, around the world with the open food facts, so thank you, uh, and to be able to uh, scan and be able to do data assessment of more than 2 million of products, am I right? 2.2 million. 2.5, wow. You know, when I started actually writing something, it was 2.2 million. So that was a couple of months ago, and now it's 2.5. Oh, wow, well done. So that's why I thank you for, for being here. Thank you for having this 10th uh, year of anniversary. And that's how actually now I'm able to this um, 
I believe, valuable research. So I would, I would uh, focus, and I'm focusing on three elements regarding doctorate. The first one is really labeling. Uh, a lot of, you said I have seven minutes. Yes. Okay. No. Two. <laughs> okay. Uh, so everything's there, as you can see. I, I don't need to say more. So basically, what is really important about labeling, more about labeling, there are a lot of labels that are actually used and doesn't really mean anything. And to be honest, even before, when you go to, to do shopping, you really don't have time huh, to check the labels. Do they really mean? And I thought that every single label that is put on the product has some uh, validity, that there is something behind. However, there are a lot of companies and a lot of self designed labels that really doesn't mean anything so you can plus moreover a lot of companies are using uh, green jargon like bio organic wellness that at the end really doesn't mean anything but since either you have a bad eyesight and you cannot read ingredients or you simply are in a hurry so you just see oh bio organic brilliant I, I buy so I really want to focus on this environmental communication that is done through Labeling, that's one part of my research. Second is I would focus on a nutrition score to what extent the food that we use is of a good uh, quality of ingredients. Because believe it or not, uh, it's been scientifically, obviously, unfortunately proven that 70% of all the illnesses are called uh, NDC, non communicable diseases, which are like cardiovascular uh, diseases, which is uh, like uh, diabetes. Uh, uh, to type 2 diabetes in some cancer that is related to poor nutrition. So that's why this part uh, is really, really important. And then uh, it's not only the food, the, the quality of the food that is produced, it's really important to what extent is processed. And you can see a lot of, of some examples, a lot of companies are trying to use like um, cosmetic changes instead of, we've been talking today, instead of like uh, red, and uh, yellow, now they have green and then yellow, so it's a perception they're doing something. Instead, they actually sell, they, they are spending a lot of funds on a green marketing rather than to, 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 to do a substantial change in the company. So and these are like uh, some examples and examples of real ab labels. So that's why the focus of my doctorate is going to be uh, on these three uh, particular different hypotheses and everything, but I'm going to uh, focus on Italy, France, Germany, and Spain, and I don't want to stop there. Uh, then my intention is to have a community as well and to try to uh, raise awareness kind of issues that I, I believe are important tool of us because they affect our uh, well-being and I think we should all be aware of them. That's why uh, one of my mission is to also assist and uh, my desire open food facts and actually try to raise awareness about this important uh, part of, of, of segment of the society because this is really investment in, in our uh, well-being. The next. Uh, so this is what, what I've just said because we here are talking what we can do to uh, enhance, uh, to uh, uh, help each other first. We discussed about packaging, uh, about the waste, food waste, and I believe even if we all here exchange certain information that we possess, we can really, uh, as I like to say, not, not me actually, it's not my quote, that, but I like to, to use it that individually we are really just a drop, but if we all get together, we are uh, like an ocean. So that's why I believe, and this is a great step forward, thanks to these uh, amazing people from Open Food Facts, that we start to change habits, start uh, raising awareness, start, you have already started that we really help each other to do it even uh, in, a, in a greater uh, way. So I'm really happy actually to be here and to be able to exchange. I'm looking at Manon because she's like, she's time manager, but I still have a, uh, something to say or not. But anyhow, this is uh, something that I, when I finalize doctorate, I would gladly uh, make it more readable not really like a boring uh, academic research, but more readable, uh, in a more readable format to present to, to the wider public. Okay. Thank you. Seven Perfect minutes. conclusion. <laughs> so
Yeah. Question is asked, no? No. no. I think it was one After question. The police. Later. In between. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, how nice of you. <laughs> Maybe there are no questions. No. Yeah, Sorry. one part. Yeah, one part is exactly related because I've also noticed if a, a product is of good nutritional score, it has a poor NOVA score. So that doesn't mean if the product is of a great quality and it's a lot processed. Uh, so this kind of thing to put together together with the uh, uh, labels as well, because there are like false and valid labels. So to put like a, to, to give a overall picture of the food product, and then I would like to compare between four countries to see how actually is done differently from a different uh, policy perspective. Thank you. <laughs>